Michael, and uh, we're going to do a quick 12-minute race. This is the BMW 12.0 Challenge. Everyone is driving an identical car, identical setup, the BMW M4 GT4. We are here at Road America, a um, place I went to not so long ago to watch the Saturday IndyCar race of the doubleheader. So 12 minutes. Uh, you're probably looking at five laps, maybe six. And from checking practice, a lot of people struggling to get this car hustled around here. Uh, so I am not going to qualify. Um, I will grid, but I will not uh, qualify. Uh, just because of the fact that I am expecting pure and utter carnage uh, in front of me in the first couple turns. So, uh, first proper race uh, with my C license uh, to get this. If memory serves, you have to be a D class at 4.0 and higher, and you have to own both the track and the BMW M4. So the BMW M4, this is a car I'm going to be using in the Pilot Challenge. I did some practice around here. And this car is a handful. Like it is a proper driver's car here at Road America. Um, also did some work in the Merc for the GT3 race on Sunday. Uh, Dave Cameron, Dave Cam to the YouTube crowd has a community league and I will be uh, participating in that event. And that is at 1700 British time, so subtract six hours, I think it's 11 in the morning here in Nashville. So anyway, uh, we're finishing up. Uh, Road America in real life, it is an awesome, awesome place. It is huge, four miles around. That's over six kilometers for those on the metric system. Some fantastic corners, uh, the carousel, Canada corner, the kink, um, it's really just a great place to visit. Um, Wisconsin in general is so nice in the summer. Um, definitely recommend it. So, but yeah, they had the doubleheader here. And like I said, went on Saturday, uh, Scott Dixon won the race and, uh, my seats were just awesome. Um, sat coming out of Canada Corner into the left-hander. And so you could hear the concophony of noise breaking into Canada Corner. And then you could hear them rev up as they took the sweeper to head to the final right-hander to go up the hill. So it, it was awesome. Um, awesome experience. And all right, here we go. So it looks like we are 10, 11, 12. We are 12th. So we are far enough back where I feel happy. One lap to green. Line up on the left side. Pit road is closed. So, porting the grid here. Let me turn down my gain. Um, so, I don't know if this is a standing start or a rolling start. Uh, if it is a rolling start, it will be the first one that I have ever taken in iRacing. So, uh, waiting on 15th, I don't know if that's Haley. Uh, we have a diverse field. We got folks from all over the globe in this. And, nope, that is not number 15. So, if it is a standing start, it's, it's gonna be nuts. Um, so we'll find out here together. So, so yeah, um, when I did practice my standing starts in this car, um, I had to be very easy on the throttle, otherwise the car just breaks loose and spin we go. So experience race for me. Um, this is my first time in a race situation with these cars and 12 minutes is the perfect length just to have that little 
little taste of what the pilot series uh, will have. So the pilot series starts week of September 15th. First circuit is Imola. And driving around Imola, this car is an absolute beast to drive. Um, if you think you have hit the right braking distances, you haven't. All right, so it looks like we're going to be rolling off here. So really the big thing I'm trying to do here is get <coughs> Get a little bit of heat in the tires. Um, I, I do know from experience this car on this car on cold tires is scary. I do mean scary. So make sure I. I'm leaving a little bit of room because I'm really concerned someone's going to light it up in front of me and just lose it. I want to make sure it's not me. So the BMW M4, 430 odd brake horsepower, three liter in like six. Trying to get a little, just a little heat in the brakes. I'm shocked that I am the 10 car with as low as my rating is. And you'll notice I got the martini livery on this. Um, that's because uh, there's a wonderful service called Trading Paints. And I love this livery, it just looks so nice. Otter's getting antsy because I'm laying back a little bit. So we're on the back side of the course here. I'll give you a little tour. And so turn five is a really good braking area, first braking area. Um, I expect a wreck in this field. This is the carousel. And in real life, it is just like this. It is not a flat curve. You come out of here. And you head into the kink. Odds are someone will also be going off. And this. There's a fast repair available. Make sure I take all the fuel out. And we get the uh, tires. It's 1.1. Scan at the corner here. Myself back up here in the grid. All right, I've done that. Just waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, and I think we're go. Yep, we're going. Twelve minutes. I just want to survive the first corner. Looks like it's already dropped. Okay, somehow I did survive the first corner. Come down here to turn three. Easy on the throttle. Yep, there's someone off right there. 
These cars just require so much more finesse. So, breaking point here is no later than 300 feet. Forgot to hit the brakes. Someone dive bombed when they shouldn't have there. The thing about Road America is now you start running into the problems that. this course has, and that is, you've got to be so precise. I mean, I'm already at 5x. Here I am on cold tires. Take the kink very, very carefully first time. And it's really going to be about a race of survival, especially with my low I rating. Notice my breaking points are so much further back. Here, this the thing about this circuit is you must if you break while turning, the circuit punishes you. Absolutely punishes you, so. Let's see if anybody uh, dropped into the pits. And we are, uh, one did. So, right, right at 400 feet. Third gear for the first corner. Nice and smooth, you have to be really smooth with the throttle. Uh, turn three here, this is a tricky corner is it actually narrows on exit. Nice smooth exit there. I'm in 14th. I'm actually happy with that. I am expecting further carnage. I just don't want to be involved in it. I don't want to generate it. All right, turn five. And this is a stock setup. And from what I have heard, this sucker is very understeering. I just want to be careful. Someone has gone off. Yep. The guy behind me went off. That's the kink. Very easy to go off. There's two places earned. Lap two here. First lap was in a pedestrian 253. And that's because of the uh, turn five. So, 12th, not too upset about that. So, a couple interesting things about the M4. 
it has a feature called shift detection. It will not let you downshift if it's going to break the engine. But sometimes you'll hear a click and it won't let, it won't do the downshift. So, 229, that was with the uh, off track. And these two tight left handers here. Not very confident in that right hander. Alright. And once I roll it off. Front in the turn. Let's see how brave Tyler feels in the end of the corner. And I may list let him by. Good pass, brother. It was a good pass. I expect him to drive away now. But he also may give me a rabbit. So the draft is very real here. I expect two more laps here. I'll have a rabbit. Oh, I've gotten off the corner so much better than he has. how you pass in turn five. So I'm going to cover the inside there. That's what a good racer is supposed to do there. Now I'm going to see if I can catch I'm really happy with how Pulled that off. That is such a difficult thing to do in this car. And the GT3 you can break in a little deeper. <clears throat> and you can trust the ABS much better. You can trust the ABS, you can trust the traction control, and the extra grip. You cannot do that in the GT3. Over here on the left is where I set out for the IndyCar race. And that's the beauty of Road America right there. Tyler and I may get him for her. Yep, him. Last lap. One of the things I did is made a big change in the steering. 
there's the downship protection there. I went to try to grab third, and it would not let me do it. So far, 5X. So if I can keep the safety rating up to standard, I'll be happy with that. to set up for the corner and get run over. So that's one of the things I've learned from some of my bad races is a lot of these competitors, the situational awareness is not very good. Oh, almost slipped the card there. I just want to make sure I bring it home. Yeah, it's 13th, but you know, it's a learning experience. I love the concept of the 12-minute race. Somebody's happy. And we'll have a look at the uh, replay. So I can just, and because my competitor is 22 seconds, I'll get a couple bonus corners. All right, and there you go. That is a 12 minutes. That's a 12 minute race around Board America. Hope you like that. It's a bit of fun. We'll have a look at that and we'll look at lap one. I wanted to get something out midweek. Um, actually, I didn't drive too bad. Uh, this car with cold tires is scary. Okay, so he has slowed down. I'm going to slow down. All right, let's see what happened. And let's go back. And okay, so even Stevens. So come in. I've overturned, and he didn't let up. So that is unfortunately on Tyler. So I started 12th into 13th, but hey, kept my incidents down. Let's check the first. Um, let's check the first lap, shall we? So let's look at Durant Garcia here. And let's go back to that. What I'm trying to do is pull up the start here. All right, so he's on the pole. There we go. Let's see what happens. So, pretty decent start. There we are right there. And we got to the first corner. 
lot of politeness in that. And now this is when all the chaos started happening. Right here, you're gonna see a car go off. One, two, three, four, five. And, oh, I just heard somebody crash us back there. Now we're gonna come down here to turn five. So, let's see here, he's in the lead. We're gonna stop it and go back and let's see what happens here. Under brakes. And now, and this guy right here, comes in, overshot the brakes. So, and what happens is, is I get caught up in this mess. So this one, let's see what happens here. So notice I'm on the inside. And so here I am, I'm going this way, but he, this car has come and rounded the corner. So, um, and right front, the left quarter, that is always going to happen on that. But anyway, I uh, hope you had fun with that. That was fun. I'm definitely going to do that uh, again. So, um, with that, take care, everybody. Have a good night.